Oh yeah, and uh, I think I need to explain this. Okay, very quickly before I start today's video, I wanna have a conversation. I wanna connect, I wanna I don't even know what I'm trying to say. We have uploaded a video onto this channel every single day for the past. We have uploaded a video onto this channel for the past 17 days. And that is as well as traveling, as well as training, as well as everything else going on. Now, the primary reason because like I've been able to do this is because of the Patreons. So thank you to every single person that does support the channel and support me over on Patreon. Yeah, your support is invaluable. And I'm, I'm, you know, it's clearly showing because we're keeping up this daily schedule and I'm able to produce content for you guys every single day. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, you're just gonna burn out again. You can't upload videos every day and train. And if you were to think that, I respect it, I respect it. But I disagree, because we're only just getting started. warmed up a little bit today it's still cold but it's, it's warmed up a little bit welcome back to another video today's a rest day what are you saying sam what are you groaning at no hey what's up what's up you just you just stand there like groaning why what do you want attention you just want attention don't you today is a rest day so it's the perfect opportunity to do a little bit of bike maintenance still running the cube the rear gear cable has bent so the shifting well it doesn't really shift very well so the first job of today is put on a new, a brand new gear cable. Changing your gear cable is actually much, much easier than you might think. A lot of people take the bike to the bike shop to do it, which is fine, and you should support your local bike shop. But it really is such an easy task to do at home if you've got the tools and if, you're, if you've are you got the confidence to do it. There's a whole host of videos on YouTube, so I'm not going to do like how-to videos. But yeah, it's literally a case of undoing your old cable, taking it out, putting threading a new cable through, setting your index screws, adjusting your high and low screws if you need to, and then you are literally, then that's it. Like, that's literally it. All we got to do now is snip the excess cable. Stick a little ferrule in there to keep it all to keep it all nice and contained. That is a new gear cable installed. All right, a little bit of real talk right now. I normally keep these vlogs cycling related, fun, me hanging out with, with Monica, hanging out with friends and stuff, just having a good time. But today I headed down to my local doctors to have a routine, uh, a routine ECG or a, an electrocardiogram or electrocardiography. It basically is, it, they, they wire you up, they take your top off, they wire you up they, and they listen to your heart and they listen to how. I don't actually know what, they, what they're listening for, but basically it's to check you your heart's all in, in good condition. As a competitive cyclist, you're constantly putting your body through stress, you're constantly putting your heart under masses amount of strain. So you need to make sure that your tick is working perfectly. And yeah, I just went for mine now. I had one last year. It's good to get them done like once a year or once every two years. And uh, all seems good. The tick is still the tick is still ticking. So this is about as exciting as my day's gonna get. Walking the two dogs. No, don't. Okay, she's gonna jump up at me. No. Walking the two dogs and it's already going dark. I feel like I've done absolutely nothing today But I have ordered something cool off of Amazon Prime. It's gonna be here tomorrow morning So I think that the best thing to do is continue today's video tomorrow Okay so we're on to the following morning. I said I'd order something from Amazon Prime. I ordered this thing at five o'clock yesterday evening and it, um, it came this morning. That's what I love about Amazon Prime. I wanted to buy one of these things for a while. Have uh, I don't necessarily need it. It's more to just, it's more to just make the Zwift setup a little bit more professional, look a little bit better, a little bit more, a little bit neater, and just so I don't need to have a massive fan next to me. I bought a Honeywell turbo fan thing. These things are gonna be ideal for indoor riding, so um, yeah. All 
All right, so there it is. The new fan is installed. It just looks so much better than having like a big fan here pointing towards me. It's so much neater. Everything's so much more compact. Whilst I was asking around, a whole load of people all said, uh, they all recommended this same fan. You can attach it onto a tripod as I've just done, just cable tied it on there. And I, and I honestly think it does look real classy and just real compact and... Oh yeah, and uh, I think I need to explain this. So this is the new updated Zwift setup. Uh, we've got the Wahoo Kicker. It's the first generation, the, the Kicker 14, I believe. Got my Colnago setup there, uh, a tripod, a TV, which is hooked into the computer here. And finally, the Honeywell HT900 turbo fan. Got a Zwift race planned for tomorrow's video, so stay tuned for that, uh, come back then. But guys, thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please drop a thumbs up. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow at 4 p.m. Just watch me break it.